So let's take a look at data matching, specifically what data matching actually looks like on a data set level and helps to think of it in terms of Venn diagrams. So if you look at the slide, let's say the intersection area of the Venn diagram is where the data matching takes place. And to make it more real, to make the example a bit more real, we'll replace party A with a FMCG brand and party B with a streaming video service. So for example, um, Disney Plus, since they actually do have their own DCR platform. Now let's say that the brand and streaming service have agreed to run an overlap analysis with the goal being for the brand to be better able to target their audience segments against the streaming services as programming. Let's say the data set for the FMCG brand includes, and, and the data set is uh, the, the, le the left side table here with the purple headers. It includes encrypted customer IDs, the customer's age group, and the food cohort that um, the customers belong to. And the segmentation would have been done ahead of time. And then the streaming service, their data set, which is the, the right side table with the orange headers, it includes the same encrypted customer ID as in the same format as that of the FMCG brand, the user's primary device, and the programming genre that they've been bucketed into. And then the matching uses the encrypted ID as the join key with the output being a new table, um, which you see on the slide right here, um, that contains the number of customers that belong to different food and genre cohort combinations. And as we can see, while individual users are included in the ingested data, only aggregated data comes out. And to ensure data privacy and to ensure that we can't identify individual users, rows um, containing users or containing below 50 users are redacted or removed and thus not included in the output. And while Venn diagram overlaps or what's called interjoin queries are the most common DCR matching function, other queries are also used depending on the use case as well as what's permitted to ensure that the collaboration is done in a way that preserves data privacy. And what's permitted can be based on the DCR provider, um, the user settings when setting up the DCR instance, or the data sets that are actually being used.